What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. What's up? This is The Walking Dead. We're talking about it. Episode 6, Who Are You Now? What a what a question, Mike. <laughs> it's a big difference after Rick has, uh, Rick has left, right? A lot of problems. Uh, we say goodbye, <laughs> Ricky. Problems. We yeah. say goodbye, Ricky. Hello, new world. Um, so, uh, overall, real quick, what would you think? Did you like it? Did you... No, I enjoyed the episode because it was okay. very it was very symbolic, and we see that right off the bat with the bird. Mm-hmm. And we talked about this, even Michonne talking to the bridge. Rick, she, and yeah, she's yeah. talking. She's speaking to Rick. She speaks to Carol uh, to Carl in this episode. Yep. Um, I think yeah, it, the sim- the symbolism comes especially from the bridge right off the bat, because it's like she can't she can't get past. She can't move on. She it hasn't been able to move to on, right? Yeah. So the, the, um, it's since her, it's not fixed, it's you know, her, and it's it's her, speaks about the fact that the communities are pretty much on their own and not maybe doing as well as they would if they were all communicating as one, like when Rick, Rick was in wanted charge. To. But don't forget now they're all doing the fair, and I think this is either the first fair or maybe like one that they haven't done in a long time. But yeah. this fair is again. This is a this is a thing from the comic. When when the time skip happens in the comic, this is where we go to. Everyone's getting ready for the fair, but it's different because well, one Rick is Rick is there, and two they mm. have been working together all those in in that time skip jump whatever. Um, but this fair is something that they they touched on and that they're going to get into. And yeah, I mean, I I actually did enjoy it as well. You know, mm-hmm. um, I enjoyed seeing. I think I think. This one was going to be an easy one to kind of like or or to get out because it's where are they now? Like, who are you now? Exactly. Yeah. Where, where are they now? It's going to be the following ones for the rest of the season to see if this whole thing is going to pay off. Because not for nothing, they did a – this was a big gamble, dude. This was mm-hmm. a – I mean, I mean, look, whether or not it could have been avoided, you know, Andrew Lincoln was leaving, whatever. That's – I guess besides the point now, but the thing is like, it's still a big gamble doing what they did six years later. Judith is now the age that Carl was when the show started yeah. at 10. Um, you know, and Judith, Judith is cool. Uh, I think the she's little still, girl, I think she's really stealing the show. Yeah. She's doing again, another <laughs> good decision. Like she's, making, a, yeah, she's making a lot of the decisions. Yeah. She's telling Michonne, no, we got to do this. She even, she even changes Michonne's mind in the, in the end. Yeah. You know, instead yeah. of letting the, ostracizing these people, now she's gonna set them up in in Hilltop with Hilltop, yeah. which is still a mystery now because we still haven't seen anything, and there's Not a lot of rumors anything. about Hilltop and where Maggie is and this kind yeah. of thing that she's off the show now too. Um, but yeah, no, it was it was a great it was the season we we've we've spoken a lot already that the season has been great. We've enjoyed this. There's a new stamp on this with Angela Kang and. Um, I think it was kind of interesting how they just bypassed everything. Even now, we find little RJ, which is what we're calling him. A lot of the community is calling yeah. Michonne and Rick's baby. Obviously, she was pregnant. This, yeah. yeah, we didn't see this two-season Maggie pregnancy thing kind of going on. You know, it just was like, boom, we did the six-year time jump. Now we have a four, five-year-old little little RJ. We have yeah. um, Judith, which, which is pretty badass. We even seen Gracie. You haven't seen Gracie saying, saying hi, Daddy, to, hi, to Aaron. That, yep. See, speaking of that. We have Henry calling uh, Ezekiel, Ezekiel and, and, and Carol, uh, mom, Carol and there, mom and yeah. dad. We have Gracie calling Aaron dad. Yeah. You know, we have we have a lot of interesting stuff. Um, and you know, it, it's 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 interesting to how they did this, how the whole dynamic has changed with Rick leaving. You but know, yet it's leaving me the, as the the viewer still intrigued by it. Right. What and I can, I, I'm going to so much going on. I want to liken this to uh, the office. I don't know if you guys or Mike, if you or anyone no, watching I really. So in the office, what happens is, you know, Steve Carell was the main guy and everything yeah. was, he was the linchpin of that show. He left and the last two or three seasons or whatever, it actually really came into its own because it let those other characters blossom. And, and I hadn't actually previously thought about this, but now that I'm thinking about it, we may actually like all these characters even better now that Rick's gone. So the fact that we were sitting here going, oh, I don't know if the show can handle, because they're strong characters, they mm-hmm. always were. But you know what? I'm actually kind of liking where it is. It is refreshing. It is, It is again, they took a gamble and they said, we yeah. need to make this show refreshing in a way that people still want to watch it. Well, you know? No, they had, Other they than, had to hit their marks. They had to make sure that w- their their decision in going forward after Rick was right. 
Yeah. You know, and so far, I mean, we, we've spoken about this. That was going to be the biggest um, hurdle that, that they were going to have to jump over yeah. was how were they going to blend this show in? How are they going to get this whole new um, the, the series off, you know, off in another, in another lane. Yeah. Uh, right. uh, so I, they've been doing well and we've, we we're getting these, these, um, these movies eventually in the future. So we're going to see what happened to Rick and Jadis. Right. And it's not over yet game. that we are going to get answers there, you know? So we'll still, we'll still have, we still have Rick in, in some, in some form. But, uh, like I said before, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in the characters that we have now. You're seeing, you know, like you said in the beginning, it's it's life after Rick and everybody's roles. Um, one of the interesting ones I want to talk to you about and get your your idea about is is Daryl. What do you think of? Because now Daryl's like this hermit. Yeah. You know. So obviously after Rick, everybody thinks he he's passed. Daryl kind of walks off into the woods, and that's you know uh, that's exactly where think, it seems like he's been living yeah. by himself. Yeah. The, you know the thing is. You got to remember, this is six years. That is a long ass time. It's not a year or even two yeah. years because a year or even two years isn't that long, even though it mm-hmm. is, it isn't. But mm-hmm. six years. So when did he break? When did he break away, I should say? When did he become that hermit? It, he could have been out there for six months. Maybe he's on, maybe he's on, she knew exactly where he was, Carol. So. It could. It, well, he, she had like she know. I guess he had like his little camp set up there. But, but what I I'm mean, saying is, hold on. What I'm saying is that he he may not be a hermit. He may be every few months or so he goes away and does this thing. Do you know I mean, what I'm saying? Like, I, I understand. I understand where you're going. We don't know. We don't know. That's where. Maybe. I don't think that that's the picture that they put out there. I think. Yeah. It's, yeah okay. We see him walk into the woods at the end when the bridge explodes, and, and you, where we see him, we still see there. him in yeah, the woods. He there. He's by himself. Uh, yeah. I mean, that could be a thing, dude. You that's know. that's that's go, bringing it back to like when they were on the farm when yeah, Daryl didn't feel like he was in. He didn't fit uh, in with the group, and exactly, and he didn't like all this stuff anyway. This was the problem. This is this is the thing that led to the fight in the penultimate for Rick, he, you know, they didn't, he didn't like what was, what he was trying to do. So speaking of which, it was all about those saviors. The saviors are are still out there apparently. And, you know, we get, we get with, um, you know, we following Carol and her son and, and, and this whole thing. And it kind of annoyed me at first. I'm like, really? I'm like, these douchebags are still alive and this and that. And it goes through the whole thing. And, you know, for long. Carol and Carol, you're like, is she soft now? Like, what's going on? You know, yeah. and then, and tried and true, she burns them all alive. Like that, that, that was badass, dude. Not only was it badass, but that's the way you keep a character who they are. And 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 I'm, yeah. I was very happy. I was like, yeah, man. I was like, that's how you do it. And then you see Henry look down, and she's got the ring, and he's just like, he doesn't know what to he doesn't say. Question, yeah, yeah. He doesn't really he's question like, okay, how she got all right. It back. So mom's well, let me still... ask you this: Do you think after um, Henry, uh, before Henry even said anything to her about like who she was, and you told me to do this kind of stuff, and yeah. you kind of just let these guys take your, you know what I mean? Like, um, do you think that if he never would have said anything to her and questioned her about what, she, how she decided to to play that Jed thing, oh, would, would she, she have, have killed? Done it? Would she have? Um, or was it something that Henry sparked? I, I, I can see it that. I can see it that that conversation reignited, rekindled that flame in her. Maybe she, you know, don't forget, maybe she was getting soft. She was telling Ezekiel, hey, this place is falling apart, blah, blah, blah. There's all this, there's all that. She might just be a matriarch, you know, but you're right. Maybe, you know, I I mean, I guess there's no real way of knowing unless she says it later on. But either way, it was a return to form for her. Either it was a stay of form or return to form. And either way, I'm happy with it. Yeah, because oh, it no, just me means too. we're gonna move forward again. The best thing was this was not a season opener or a mid-season opener. This was the next episode, and to for that 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 in it in unto itself is a a gr- a big positive for me in yeah. what in what the new showrunners have done. You know, like that's just kudos kudos to you for doing that. Like you did it mid mid first half of the season or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so, no. I, I mean, I, again, I really like that. I don't want to. I don't want to dwell too much. How about these new people? What do you think about them? Uh, I mean, from from without spoiling. I mean, knowing from from the comic book, we kind of know what happens, and they're kind of like an integral part of the whole Whisper of War and things like mm-hmm. that. And um, you know, I think that they're going to be vital 
I don't know if they are going to go to Hilltop or not, or if they're going to eventually something's going to maybe happen where right. they earn their keep and they're able to stay in Alexandria. But I like, I like the the number one. We're seeing a like a deaf character, which yeah. is interesting in and the apocalypse. If, it, yeah. In the apo- yes, and and to have that, that's something new. But to see, uh, I think that what was it, Connie and oh, I forgot their names, but they're sisters. Yeah. And how they're communicating. And even though this person doesn't have a voice and they said this on Talking Dead, um, the younger sister is definitely making sure that her older sister's voice is heard. Yeah. yeah. You know, through a translation, through the sign language yeah. and stuff like that. And it's um, yeah, it's cool to see that. And uh, listen, I'm looking forward to to, you know, how they're going to kind of earn their way in and, and earn, uh, you know, the, the, that that like that like of 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 these characters but interesting interesting enough you know they did the so they have a council they're running by council yeah and yeah. you know each one of them has their positions she you know michonne is security uh you know gabriel's obviously i guess like the 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 religious guy you know aaron's on there <laughs> you know um you know michonne you know real quick <clears throat> real quick um how do you feel about michonne i'm digging her as the matriarch of that place man yeah, I mean, even though, like you said, the council thing is going on, I definitely think that she's still, you know, kind of that. Hmm, who's the one that made they, you? They're made still the like, call let's or... wait for Michonne. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, like she's it, man. Very, yeah, she's very. Um... Deny has that presence. You know what I'm saying? Oh like... yeah, especially when she comes <clears throat> into the gates and she and she first sees uh, yeah. Magna in the group, and she's like, "Who made this call? You don't make this call." And then Judith is kind of the one that says, "Listen, no, you know, I it, it's me. I made the call." I'm so, really. It's she's like the only one that it seems like can stand up to Michonne and say, hey, listen, this oh, is a daughter. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this is what dad would do and all this kind of stuff. And they reference Rick uh, quite a bit in this. obviously. Yeah. And they and, and they mention a few of, you know, a few times that they're not over it. No one's over it, basically. But mm-hmm. what I'm curious to see going forward is how much of Judith has control, like how much control she does have. Number one, number two, is it because she's Rick Grimes' daughter? So that's that's something I. Excuse me, I yeah. think we're going to see. Um, where do we go from here? Uh, all right, so, um, you know, getting on to the end of it. Yeah, we have a little bit with, uh, uh, we have obviously the romance with um, Gabriel and Rosita, Rosita. which is, yeah. um, I mean, I guess it's okay. You know? I was a little surprised, but then at the same time, you know why? Because Gabriel, man, that character has come a very long way. Another yeah. character that would not be alive. Um, no, that's not true. He was alive in the comic for a while. Um, uh, I won't tell you how he does end yeah. up going. <laughs> Sorry, spoilers. Um, but um, it, I, I, I feel, first of all, I'll just say I feel like he is going to meet an end in this show. I think this is Gabriel's last season. Yeah. I think it is. Uh, going into the whispers. And, okay, so, you know what? It's fine because... We go and we and then we see Rosita and Eugene, yeah. and you know there's a thing in the comic which I thought was very interesting um, for Eugene's character. Where first of all the ponytail, he's rocking the ponytail from the time, and skip. he and he has some skills. He has some fighting skills. Well, like he's, finally, yeah, you know he's the first one when when the walkers come. You right. know when he's in the woods with everybody else and Judith and and Aaron and everybody. He's the first one that runs up to yeah. the walkers. So it's good to see starts, that. Yeah, it's it's good. It's it's it, instead of just like this whimpering kind of coward or just this just like the brains of the thing. At least he can kind of take care of himself. That shows uh, a, a little bit. Yeah, it shows yeah. it shows growth in the character coming yeah. from what he from what yeah. he was, and that's what you yeah. want to see. You want to see growth from a character. That's nice and refreshing. Mm-hmm. But you know he's got you know he does he cares about Rosita. Uh, again, as comic readers, we know why. You know, yeah. I mean, should I say should I say why? You know what? It's so different. I'm going to yeah, say I mean, in the, I'm going to say it. I don't care. Spoilers. If um, you could just mute this thing now. So in the comic, what happens is him and Rosita are living together and they're kind of together. But she has a baby from another man in from Alexandria. And you don't really know who that guy is or maybe you, you find out his name or something. But you don't know who that is. Really. It doesn't matter who that is. But she got pregnant from some other dude. Yeah. And he's living with her, taking care of that kid's that guy's kid and her mm. and um you know so so that so oh it, it'd be interesting to see how far that goes 
I don't think it's going to be that involved in that. I mean, she's kind of with Gabriel, I guess. And I think we're kind of like enough with the kids. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like, I mean, well, that's, that, I mean, I didn't that think they were going to have Wouldn't that be the last one, but... thing that you would well, want? Not if you're build, rebuilding civilization. That's the whole point. I mean, still, it's almost like, it's almost very selfish because there's still, there's still, it's still a tough world. I mean, I don't know. It's how many kids are you going to hope come out to be like this little badass uh, Judith Grimes, but, but don't I guess forget we'll the see. more kids yeah, born but... in the apocalypse. Yeah, well, no, I understand the whole rebuilding part of it, but I mean, I don't know, I don't know. Just, just maybe uh, you would you would practice a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, Hold off. Yeah. yeah. Um. Anyway, so we're back out into um the end, I guess. No, did we miss anything else? Because because we yeah, got... no, we had a cool little back and forth with uh, Negan and Judith, which it seems like they oh, kind of yeah, speak other. So for... so here's the thing I had about that. Yeah. So Negan's been in there for six years. Yeah, even longer. Well, right. So seven, was a seven and a half. Initial, it was like yeah, it was like a, a year and a half. It was. Or was it yeah. three months? Three? I don't know. It was, it was but, a year and a half since he was locked up, and then a six-year time jump after that. Okay. So are you sure it was a year and a half? I thought I said it was three yeah. months. Oh, that's just when they decided to start. That's when they that start bridge. doing the bridge. Anyway, okay. So so he's been in there a long time, and he's just there. It's like a life sentence. He just has like a life sentence, I guess. Yeah. I guess he's just there. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I mean, again, it's it's this six it's this six year time jump. It, it it works, but it could also not work in a way. So I don't well, know. I guess we're gonna see more and more, but it yeah. does seem like he actually enjoys these conversations that he has with Judith. And I know that in the comic book too, didn't Carl visit him? Yeah. So maybe they're playing that into that a little bit. Yeah. But yeah it's yeah. gonna be. I mean, listen, we only got a little bit of him. We got like, um, you know, with the whole math problem thing. It was kind. It was kind of cool. Yeah. But basically, you know, um, the one thing w- towards the end, the whole reason Eugene is up in the first place is they're trying to send out like this beacon kind of thing. They'll be able to get the radio signals out. Yeah, which, is a, little, which is a little awkward. Can, again, it was weird, right? Going- because it's like, who else? It's like, oh, you never know who who we can find out there. But you never know who the bad people are that you may find out yeah, there. Yeah, like that's So the you've whole been in this point. comfortable area now for seven years or whatever. Really, after all the turmoil and all these governors and all these Negans and all these, you know, these savior people and just all these people that just want to take your stuff and kill you and do all this stuff. And now you want to just spread spread it out more to where you might bump into more of these people. So it's like it's almost like let's just keep our small little my. Yeah, but the thing is, they I, I, you're right, and, and we'll see how that pans out. But the, my only thing is, again, sorry, spoilers, guys. I I have to compare this time jump to the comic because it's the only point of reference that we have. Mm. In the comic, he uses that radio to talk to the Commonwealth, which is a which is another thing that will be coming. But that woman from last season, Georgie, was from the Commonwealth, wasn't she? Well, that's that's what we don't necessarily know yet. So she they jump. So you jump in like you're you're. This woman literally came with an armed escort and handed them a book of and rules. And has still been in contact with Hilltop. Right. With so I'm over thinking. These. I'm like. So where are they going with this other antenna thing? If that's not, are if they going to end up talking? In, yeah. If they're, I don't know, man. So I don't know either. So it could. Just okay. Be so there's a little totally bit different. of things going on. We'll see what happens. So anyway, the last thing is is obviously the whisperers. We've got the whisperers. Where are they? Stay close. What did he say? He said, "Where are they?" He said, "Don't lose them. Don't let, don't let them get away. Don't let them get like away." It, which was kind of creepy. It was it was creepy because that's the first time we got like that second part to them walking by. We always heard the you know where are they kind of a thing. But yeah, we got the yeah. No, it was it. interesting because if you remember when Rosita and Eugene were walking to get to the the tower there, they saw the the marks from the herd. And he's like, oh, they're going east. It doesn't matter. We're going west or whatever right. it was. Right. And obviously, and when Eugene was up there, he's like, oh, they, they made a quick turn or whatever. Oh, well, after, says, well, what happens is, yeah. So what happens is he they're so going one way whispers. and they're like, let's get out of here. And the yeah. whispers made them go towards them now. Yeah, and he's like, how the of, hell did they do that? Yeah. Right. I think that's where we get like that little teaser of, oh, they've, they're revolving. Um, that we'll eventually see in the next episode or something. But, yeah, it's completely wrong, people. Sorry. The other cool yeah. thing is that people who don't know the comic – are watching the show and they're probably like, "What on earth are these? What? Why do I keep seeing things called? What the hell is that?" Like, yeah. so if you did, if you haven't read the comic, you're in for a treat. 
Um, it's a uh, very, a very interesting concept and it took them a while to get to this concept, but it would, I believe it would absolutely happen and it's really cool. And I'm, I'm actually pretty excited to see how they bring it about and, and you know, what they make these whispers look like and, yeah. and, and, and Mikey, I wonder if it's going to be the actual, like the, you know, like from the comic, like if it's going to be that particular group, because in that group dynamic, there are some pretty interesting characters you know yeah um you know one big thing is that carl was a big thing was a big player in this particular storyline the story yeah. arc in the comic and now he's not there so well judith like i said is it going to be up yeah but don't forget that was you know he was a teenager in the comic at that point judith's 10 is it going to be you know comparable to that i don't know we'll see maybe that might work you know it could work We'll see. Yeah. Um, but uh, I don't know, Mike. I think we should just end it there. We talked a lot about it. We always end up going longer than we want. But, hey, man, I guess it's a lot to say. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that's right. Um, you guys let us know what you thought of this episode, Life mm -hmm. After Rick, really. Yeah, um, what do you think of, you know, how everybody's handling their thing, how they're handling Rick being gone, the Daryl stuff. Uh, you know, Michonne obviously is still having a tough time. Uh, even little Judith, you know, talking – talking some sense into a mother it's that's just interesting stuff so just let us know in the comments section below of course on the youtube video check us out at third person pod on facebook on twitter you can have a listen to us on itunes as well uh check us out on instagram at third person pod if you like we're always posting some cool stuff in there um i think that's about it what do you think chris um i think that if you're a fan of the walking dead then you should be a fan of into the badlands so we have tons of into the badlands content and more on the way. Go check out all of our interviews that we've done with cast and crew. Check out our Into the Badlands trivia show with the, some of the cast and crew and community members. And uh, check out our theory videos and things like yes. that. We, we just recently put up a top five moments from season one. You can check that out. Season two is imminent. That will be coming soon enough. Uh, but yeah, go check that stuff out. We're really proud of that work over there on that show that we're doing uh, for this channel. So please check that out. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying The Walking Dead. Obviously, like Mike said, let us know. And we will see you on the next episode for The Walking Dead. Good night, guys. Thanks. Peace.